What's up guys, Zinigami here, and coming soon to the global version of One Piece Trail Cruise is the Bartolomeo or Coliseum. Single Fest Bash, yes, the Coliseum is coming, not the Coliseum we're all waiting for, but the Coliseum that Bandai wants to get that sweet, sweet cash must for. And we're going to go through, look at every single character, talk about their captain ability and special ability and just how useful they will be in the future and how good they will be if you manage to pull one of these guys. So we're going to be looking at Don Chin Zhao all the way up to Bartolome. We're going to start from the bottom, go all the way up to the top. Don Chin Zhao's captain ability is if you are a Boot, if you're a powerhouse character, boost your attack by two. If you're a striker, boost your health by two. So only powerhouse strikers get that two times attack, two times health. So characters such as himself get two times attack, two times health. Otherwise, he either boosts your attack or boosts your health. Just kind of an okay captain ability, not the greatest. Even if it was just two times attack, two times health of powerhouse, that'd just be an okay captain ability. It would, it'd be a lot better if it were that. But requiring powerhouse striker to actually benefit from it, it makes it just kind of meh. His special ability is pretty good though. He will boost orb effectiveness for two turns depending on what your health is at. So if you're at high health, it doesn't boost by very much. If you're at low health, he boosts it for 1.75 for two turns. This makes Don Chin Zhao perfect on a Bartolomeo team because we're going to be talking about strikers a lot today. So Don Chin Zhao and Alkaji or Don Chin Zhao and Bartolomeo get your health low, lock your orbs with Alkaji, and boost your orbs effectiveness by 1.75 for two turns with Don Chin Zhao. You're going to have two turns of lots and lots of pain. It makes it very, very good. So Don Chin Zhao, very good on striker teams. Captain Billy is kind of meh. Then we have Blue Gilly. Blue Gilly's Captain Ability also is just kind of okay. Boost attack and recovery of fighters by two times. A recovery boosting isn't too important in the game. And his special ability is okay as well, not the best. He changes your Captain Orbs into Magic Orbs and lets you move orbs around three times. So this is actually pretty good with his super low cooldown. It goes down to, I believe, six turns, but I can't really confirm it right now. Because his skill books aren't out, and I only believe a couple people have maxed it out. I'm sure there's uh, screenshots somewhere of his max special. But with the low, low cooldown, once you get it probably down to about 6 turns, this will be a much better special. But at 11 turns, Blue Gilly isn't the best. But at 6 turns, you can use him so often, it's pretty dang awesome. Then we have the Funk Brothers. The Funk Brothers, the nightmare fuel that is the Funk Brothers putting on your brother's clothes. That's, that's fine, that's not weird at all. They are like a gear 3 captain for Buffalo. So how Buffalo Buffalo is to Rayleigh as Funk Brothers is to gear 3. So as you attack, after a 21st hit on the chain, the boost attack by 2.5 times. After the 36th hit on the chain, that is a 3.5 times. So you want to use characters with very high combo hits. Like you see he has an 8 hit combo. You want to use characters like Zoro, Buffalo... Golden Pound Usopp, In Ivankov, anyone that has a really high combo hit, so you can ramp up that damage very quickly. It's a pretty decent captain ability. The hardest part is just finding another Funk Brothers to use as a friend captain. So it's just like a Gear 3 captain, but with a different twist on it. His special ability is going to be also boosting characters with very high chain combos. Because after the 30th hit on the chain, it boosts the attack of all characters by 1.75 for 3 turns. Now this is a really, really strong special ability. The only thing is that the, the way that we calculate this damage, it doesn't work out well with our damage calculator that we currently have on this website. The website that I am managing here, the database. We don't have a, a nice, efficient way of calculating the best damage for after the 30th hit. So we may implement him soon to just, if you manually change the order in the character's attack, that'll boost the damage. Uh, but like when you turn a special on, the damage won't be calculating properly. So we don't have it active in the database yet. Uh, but it's a very, very good special. Certainly, especially if you have a high combo hit team, 1.75 times attack for three turns is kinda nice. Kinda nice. Harjuin, his captain ability is like uh, Marco. For powerhouse characters, 2.75 times attack if you're basically at full health at the start of your turn. And his special ability reduces you to 1 health and deals 10 times as much damage as removed 
to one enemy and boosts his own attack by 2.25 for one turn. So very high attack boost for just himself and a lot of damage dealt on the right teams. He's basically kind of like Blackbeard in that you want to have full health and you shoot all your health away at your enemies. This can actually do a ton of damage. One of the fun things we managed to do is we even if you put him on a Blackbeard team with about 100,000 health, you know, that's kind of one million damage right there just from using his special. So you can use him on the right team to just one shot a uh, single enemy. So you can definitely use him probably to like one shot. You can probably use him to one shot even raid bosses with a one million damage shot. I'm sure you can get. I'm sure you can get enough health to use him to one shot a Mihawk. Remember, this is typeless damage, but it is it is fun to use. Not not the most stable, but definitely a fun special ability. Then we have Abdullah and Jeet. Abdullah and Jeet's captain ability. And the most useful part of it is reduce cooldown of striker and slasher characters by two at the start of the stage. Makes them, once again, one of the very fast captains if you're farming Fortnite Islands. Anything that reduces cooldown at the start of the stage makes very for very, very fast runs on Fortnite Islands. Make them very great farming captains. Also boost attack by 2.25, which is a good attack boost. Not the best, but a good one. Their special ability goes also down to about 6 turns and reduces the special cooldown of slashers and strikers by 1 turn. So if you have 2 Abdullah and G Captains, you start off with 2 turn cooldown at the start. Then after 6 turns you can start reducing cooldowns and they just... There are lots, they're really, really fast ways to reduce your cooldowns, letting you essentially just stall out for extra turns very quickly. So it's just like if you have extra cooldown reduction sockets. A uh, very, very powerful captain ability, especially on stages with fewer, or on, or on islands with fewer stages, or if you're just farming islands very quickly and you just want to use specials, especially now on the Japanese version that you can skip special abilities. I, bef uh, before now, haven't used them because uh, waiting for this special ability is sometimes longer than just attacking once and then letting the animation of that finish. But using your special now and then just clicking to skip it will make this special a lot better and a lot nicer to just really, really speed out those special abilities. And then finally, the star of the show, we have Bartolono, Bartolomeo the Cannibal. Uh, I really like Bartolomeo. He's a very cool captain. His captain ability boosts the attack of strikers based on how many strikers you have on your team. So if you're using one striker, you only have a 1.2 times attack boost. So if Bartolomeo is the only striker on your team, you only have a 1.2 times attack boost. With 2 it goes to 1.5, it goes all the way up to 6 strikers, which is a 2.75 times attack boost. So basically if you have all 6 strikers, you always have 2.75 times attack boost for your entire team. This is a really, really strong attack boost. The only downside being that you have to have strikers. But he doesn't stop there because he also, if you don't attack with him, he reduces damage received by 30% for that turn. So if you are wanting to stall, you can just attack with your bottom four characters. If you have two Bartolomeo captains, that reduces damage taken by 50%. So you basically have a smoker special ability whenever you want. That saves you worth so much damage, especially on uh, fights that you're stalling out for a long time. You can just look, use the bottom four characters to look for food and just not attack with your Bartolomeo captains, giving you permanent smoker special abilities. Super, super good. You do lose out on a lot of damage, of course, but it's you just get so much damage reduction. And his special actually prevents you from dying for one turn. Just straight up prevent you from dying as long as you're going to take hits from one character. If you take hits from multiple characters, then they will get through that death prevention. Uh, so don't expect to use it on things like uh, Enel will actually get through that because Enel attacks. Well, actually, Enel, Enel won't because uh, it, or Enel shouldn't. I haven't actually tested it. But things that are attacking multiple times, so two Doflamingos will get through that prevents death from one turn because it's going to uh, only negate one Doflamingos attack. But if you are fighting a single character, which is most raid bosses, use a special and they can't kill you for that turn. Doesn't matter how much health that you have. You can start at one health, use a special, and they can't bring you below that one health, which is super awesome. And the lower health you have, the more damage his special deals, doing up to 150 times his attack in damage. A pretty strong special. Um, so yeah, Bartolomeo, very good, very, very fun. 
Anyways, guys, that is the entire batch. Bartolomeo, a very cool captain, forces you to use all strikers, which makes characters like Don Chinjao and Diamante. Diamante, very, very good. So that way, Diamante lets you stall, and it's also a striker. Don Chinjao boosts your orb, and also a striker. So strikers are going to get much more popular with Bartolomeo. Good luck getting any of your good units. Should you do pulls on this Sewer Fest or not, it's going to be completely up to you. Remember that all previous units before this will be out and available to you. And it's just ultimately going to depend on luck whether or not you get a good unit. Always pull during a Sewer Fest. That way you can try to get 6-star characters like Bartolomeo. I would like to give an extra special thanks to our Patreon subscribers, Carlos Baron and Super Crazy Apple. Special thanks to all of you guys for watching on YouTube, well, everyone here watching on Twitch. If you like this, give us a like. If you want to see more of it, consider being a Patreon subscriber. There's a link in the video description down below. Help us keep making this cool, cool content and keep getting some better content out. I'm Zinigami. Thank you so much for watching, and y'all stay beautiful.